We are so used to visual communication, we use it all the time. And this is why video also has a central, I might even say, vital role to play in the new business technology paradigm that is referred to as unified communications. UC is really just the natural evolution of business communications products and services that followed from the development of the internet. But uh, visual communication with its ability to convey the full richness of, of human communications with gesture, nuance and body language completes unified communications, complementing the voice presence, instant messaging and web conferencing and the other facilities it offers. A business wanting to get the maximum return on its investment in deploying unified communications and visual communications needs to consider what it wants those products, services and applications to connect with. Is the communication only internal or is it also external? And it is the external communication, the opportunity to use UC to communicate directly with customers and suppliers that to Frost and Sullivan is the most exciting development perspective. Enabling communications products and services to work together seamlessly to interoperate, to use the industry jargon, allows companies to see all the benefits that video conferencing and telepresence can offer and helps ensure the investment in these technologies is still paying a dividend many years down the line. Buying into the well-established industry recognized standards for interoperability not only ensures that these important business assets can communicate with other systems but will also help to future-proof the investment. At a time of a global recession, a company must be able to squeeze every last ounce of use out of its communications assets. I can obviously not say that UC will solve every problem, but I do believe that video-enabled UC solutions will make an important contribution. We can make substantial cost savings, we travel less, we reduce our carbon footprint, our colleagues get a better balance between work and their private lives, productivity goes up and we get leaner organizations that can still deliver a consistently good or even better customer experience because we can react more quickly. So this business agility will help ensure that our companies will survive and prosper in the most difficult economic climate we have had for a century.